welcome back so we finished week seven and this has been by far i think one of my most confusing weeks but also one of my favorite weeks um and i say that because it's finally nice to finally be able to say that i'm learning to actually build a full stack application and that i'm actually learning to create single single page application or spa as um, our instructors in ga like to uh, refer to it as and it's really nice because i feel like we're finally starting to build things that actually look good in the last unit we focused on the back end so the front end or the front part or the client side what the client actually sees it wasn't actually a big deal because we are focused on making it work from behind the scenes and yeah you happen to look if it looks good great but the whole point is about functionality the same thing can be said for this unit of um, react and learning full stack applications but now we're actually putting a lot of our concepts together. So for our GA class, we are learning the Mern stack, which is Mongoose, Express, React, and Node. And we're learning how to put all those things together. So in reality, the newest thing that we're currently learning is React. And it has been a whirlwind. Um, I'm getting the same sentiments that I was getting when I was learning Express and Node, but I will say that this week has really reminded me about what I had to do for the assessment. So as you guys know, um, last year when I was uh, originally uh, supposed to start GA, I was struggling to pass the assessment. And on my final time, I went and utilized resources outside of the um, uh, learning materials that GA gave us in order for me to complete the assessment. I ended up coming back and taking the assessment and killing it. And so that sentiment kind of came back up for me because I didn't want to struggle through week seven how I struggled through um, week, what was it? Four, three and four or five and six, whatever. The weeks that I had um, express and note, I didn't want to struggle through those weeks how I did this time because I really, I've really been excited to learn React. I really wanted to learn React because I see React everywhere and I, I see how important it is and how people talk about it. So I really wanted to um, absorb and sit and like soak in all, as much information as I could or I can while I'm in GA with these instructors right here to answer all my questions. Obviously, I know I'm not gonna learn everything, but I just wanted to really take advantage of these next two weeks, well, really three weeks that I'll be doing React with this project. And I really wanted to make sure I had, like, grasp the major concepts so that my projects for week three, my unit three project would be really, like, wonderful and something that I could use for, like, job applications and things like that. So I brought up the assessment and that reminder because this was the week that I like realized that GA, as much as they, they can only do so much, and even though they continue to tell us like, we can only give you so much information, all of this information is online. People are learning React on their own. They're not going to boot camps. They're not doing certain things. They're learning React on their own. So anytime that I'm sitting in class confused, I had to remind myself like, okay, sis, this stuff is somewhere, you know? So take the time outside of class, instead of just focusing on labs and homework and whatever else, group work that we have going on in class, like take that time to actually sit here and go through it somewhere else. So during, I started during one of our lab times and one of our, so we have like lab time built into the class. So you're not in lecture or lab all day. Um, or oh, we're in lecture and lab all day. We're not sitting in a lecture. They're not lecturing us from 12 to eight with an hour for lunch. Like we have lectures and then we have labs. So during lab time is kind of free time. You do your homework or your lab work, but it's essentially homework. And you work on whatever you need to work on. You reach out to your classmates. You can do a one-on-one -on -one with your professor, but essentially it's more one-on-one -on -one time. We're not sitting in lecture or, or we'll have to be on Zoom, but our camera, um, our mics are on mute. So I utilized that time this week to really hone in and I went through Free Code Camp and I went through um, uh, Code Academy. So I'll link, I will link those for you guys because when I tell you I was lost and then I did, I only did part of Code Academy and part of Free Code Camp because I thought we weren't gonna cover it in class and I just kind of wanted to give them an opportunity to teach me first. So I went back and finished. But, just like for instance with um state i know we did state with our first um project with the game and learning about state and changing state but that concept still was a little lost to me and 
struggling through project week one. Um, I don't think I really fully got to grasp it, like what state was for using model view controllers. I understand what that is now and I definitely grasp that unit too, but in terms of state, that still con that concept was still a little lost to me. So I utilized Free Code Camp and Code Academy, their React portions, and I skipped certain portions because we're not doing life cycle methods or as far as I'm aware, when I talked to the instructional, instructional associate for the TA, um, he said we weren't going to be doing life cycle, or they said, sorry, they said that we weren't going to be doing life cycle methods. So I only did um, what we were doing in class. So for instance, we learned hooks. So I went and looked at the lecture or the Code Academy and the Free Code Camp on hooks. And I really sat there. I pulled out my handy dandy notebook. I've been taking notes on iPad, but I brought out my notebook got my pen and I just like really read and wrote and drew and when I say like in that lab time I was able to understand hooks so that the next day when we were going over things and we have now we have built into our labs where it's like okay try this on your own and I was just like oh da -da -da -da, you know that is not something I would have been able to do without Code Academy. you may be different and you just have to do what's best for you but I can say that I think this uh, this time I really learned to utilize going and looking at other resources while being in class, not solely relying on the materials that GA gives me to like be able to create React. Even though you can do it, it's just a little struggle, but I think for me, GA doesn't always explain everything. They'll give you like enough, but for me, that's clearly not enough. So I've had to learn to utilize outside resources and I wish this is something I had done, I had remembered for unit one and unit two. So I would say if you are that also that type of learner, like you have to understand the meaning for it to click, somebody telling you and showing you the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah, I can regurgitate it and I can rewrite it and I can, you know, copy paste. That's really what it is. Is I Yeah, I can copy paste it and I, I kind of get it, but like I really have to understand it to be able to apply it, that means that you need to take a little bit more time outside of class, outside of labs, outside of the homework that's supposed to reinforce these things for you and really make sure that you understand what you're doing. And I think just having that little bit of time each day um, throughout the week, I didn't even really have to utilize a lot of time outside of uh, class or outside of laptop, outside of the 12 to eight time frame to learn because I was using that lab time. So while my, my classmates may have been getting ahead in, in our homework, I was spending more of that time understanding the concept so that when I did get to do the homework, it wasn't it wouldn't take me lab time. It would take me like 30 minutes max just to make sure everything's correct because I actually understood what I was doing versus just copy paste and this isn't working, so let me figure this out. No, now that I kind of understand what I was doing, I'm like, okay, da 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 let me cross check with what we did in class. Okay, it's good to go. So it's like, okay, it's solidifying for me. So week seven, all we did was React. We learned about React, we're building, um, we're building the infrastructure which is gonna help us with our projects in week nine, for week nine. Um, so this is just straight React and blending um, the rest of the MERN stack. Uh, so Mongoose, Express, React, and Node, blending those concepts. And those are things we already learned. Everything but React we already learned. So blending all those things together to create single page applications. So like I said, I utilize, and I, my takeaway for this week is that I utilized those resources outside of what GA has given me to really hone in and understand what I needed to learn for React. I know I'm not gonna grasp everything, but just at least what we were doing in class, I knew I needed to know, and I think that made a world difference for me. And that is that is what I'm going to be doing moving forward in this class, is utilizing those other resources. I would also say that I've started to start prepping for coding interviews, uh, or the technical coding interview. So I did get a book. So I got this book, shout out to Amber. Um, I also would like to say one little token is to start utilizing Twitter. Um, I've had Twitter, but I didn't really use it. I mean, it's been years, but tech Twitter specifically, black tech Twitter, and apparently there's a black women tech tw Twitter. Ah, what a tongue twister, but specifically black tech Twitter. I haven't really utilized black tech, black women tech Twitter. <laughs> I haven't really utilized that that much, but I think I'm going to start. But me just asking questions and putting that hashtag, like I 
I asked like, does anybody have a guide or recommendation on like how to actually go through coding in a technical coding interview questions? I'd seen this book, but I had read a reviews that it was like Java, and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I don't know anything about Java. So I don't know how, I mean, people say this book is great, but I don't know how beneficial this book will be. And um, I just hashtag Black Tech Twitter. And actually one of my best friends, friends, she's also a software, or she is a software engineer, saw what I had said. And she was like, yeah, I used that book, blah, 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 blah. You're more than welcome to borrow it from me at any time. And I was like, oh. So I actually, this past weekend, I went and met up with her and got the book. And I'm hoping to start utilizing that. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, but just the power of Black Tech Twitter. Like I was able, I've had people reach out to me. I've had people like, if I say like, uh, anybody have any ideas on learning React or like better ways to learn React and people respond like, I didn't realize that this can how big this community will be. So I would also say for your GA journey, I mean, I'm sure there's other Twitters like Latinx Twitter and, and regular Twitter or tech Twitter for other people who may not identify under those categories. I would definitely say utilize those spaces. I did not realize how huge that the tech Twitters and all those hashtags were, but Every time, it's never the same people every single time that I get to talk to or reach out to or interact with on tech Twitter. Um, and it's been like amazing experience. I've had some DMs from people like helping me. Like I 100% recommend to anybody that's interested in getting into the tech field, get a Twitter, get a Twitter. I don't know if that's the correct term, but get Twitter create a handle and start actively tweeting. I'm a very private person. So even me creating a YouTube channel to document this journey has already been like a big step, but definitely talking about and putting myself more out there about what I'm actually doing, especially since I'm creating a career career change or transition for myself has been a very like opening process. I'm very extroverted, but with a lot of like things going on with myself, I'm very private. So this has all been a very like transitional journey for me and i can say that i've had some so many helpful tips i found a community called baddies in tech um that helps with um helping women trying um uh, helping women of color get into tech and like different opportunities career challenges like mentorship things like that that's all from twitter i didn't i'm I'm sure if I Googled, I may be able to found it, but this is all literally from Twitter. The community is really growing, is really changing, is very, I can tell how very powerful it is. And I would, I feel like I would fail you guys if I said, do you need to start getting into Twitter and start interacting on Twitter. One woman was in my DMs and she told me that um, she got her opportunity through Twitter, like just being in the community and interacting with people, she got a job offer. So. The, do not underestimate the power of social media when it comes to looking for jobs, networking, connecting with other people. Um, I follow a few people that I'm like, I just read what they're doing. I'm just like, oh, I can't wait to be there too. I can't wait to share you resources and utilize certain things and help people also get into these positions. But for the meantime, I'm just gonna focus on this class and you know, document this journey here on YouTube and you know, just give you guys any tidbits that I share because I. This isn't just about me, this is about all of us. Um, so that is all of week seven. I know it was like different things, but I wanted to make sure I got the code, technical coding interview book in here and talk about that and the power of um, Twitter and how relevant and useful it can be um, for you during your journey and understanding you're not alone and that other people are also going through it too, as well as your classmates. So that's week seven. If you have any questions, like I said, continue to email me. I love when you guys email me. Somebody actually reached out to me on Slack. Shout out to you. Um, they're also in GA and so they reached out to me on Slack. And so that was a pretty cool experience. And yeah, um, I guess I'll put my Twitter. I haven't put it out there, but I will put my Twitter below. Please follow me or reach out. I'm more than happy to talk to you guys and help you guys along your journey as I'm also going along the journey as well. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys for my week eight recap. Have a great rest of your day.